What's up everybody? We got a special video for you today. I'm going to show you how to kill the ancient dragon pretty easily. Got a nice little strategy that I found. Now I know I normally show you guys all the hidden items and secrets for each little area but this area there's really not anything. Everything is pretty much right in your face and you can't miss it. So we're just going to get on to the important stuff. How to kill this boss easily. I know it's been driving a lot of you guys crazy. It took me so many tries and until I found this little strategy and I beat him my second try. So if you pay attention, should be good. We'll get this boss out of the way for you. I suggest doing this by yourself. If you try to summon people in, they'll probably mess you up. But we're just gonna bait a couple of his attacks. We're always gonna stay by his right paw. After he does his fire thing, we're gonna run out here and see if he goes up and tries to do his fire breath thing, we'll be super far away already. And then we can just run away from there. We won't be in range at all of his fire breath. And then we can run back in. Staying in front of his head a little bit. You want him to rear up like that. And he'll normally shoot some fire out front. And that's when you can get some attacks in. If you're melee, you want to hit his toes. Those are his weak points. But after we attack, you see we run out towards his face. And then when he does his little fire breath, we're going to come back in and hit him some more. Now that he's done, we're running back out here again. Hopefully he'll shoot some more fire. Oh, he's going up in the air. So we're already really far away from him. We can just run even further away from him. We'll be anywhere near his fire breath. I have the stamina ring on, the one that makes our stamina regenerate faster, which is pretty useful right here because you're gonna wanna make sure that when he goes up in the air, you got full stamina. Okay, we're gonna unload some attacks on his face right there. And when we walk back to this position, we want to have full stamina. That way, if he goes up in the air, we can run away fast enough or we can run in close to him like this and hit him. You want to pay attention to your stamina. It's important. So, of course, we're doing the same thing. There he's going up. See his little wings flap and we're already far away. So, what do we do? Run further away. Pretty good technique. A lot of people have been saying try to run towards his tail. It's way too hard. I uh, probably tried 30, maybe 40 times doing this, watching other people's YouTube videos and trying to take their advice. They say, go towards the tail, follow the tail, but sometimes he turns the tail, you don't know where it went and it's really hard. So this method right here is pretty foolproof. You'll be surprised. You'll go in there and maybe do it on your third try. You wanna watch out for that. He did get me the last time I was in here, I died from that. He did his little head swipe, and he chomped me one little bite. But as you can see, we got a good little technique here, and we're avoiding his most dangerous attack, which is the one where he flies up. That one right there is kind of close because we were pretty close to him, so it's kind of iffy right there. We needed to be further away from him, but we still got out in time. We're still pretty far away from him. And we'll try to get a bait his little attack again. There he goes. Run to the side, do your little attacks. When he's done breathing his fire, we're gonna go out in front of him again. And hopefully he breathes fire again. Pretty repetitive. That was going up in the air, so we're running away. I hope this strategy helps you guys because it's a really tough fight, especially if you're listening to what other people are telling you, trying to follow tales and stuff and it's going to be really hard, so this is a pretty easy method. Just be patient, stay calm, and you guys can do it. I'll go ahead and speed it up for you guys because it's basically the same thing over and over again. We're just repeating the same little tactic, and it works. It's foolproof. You're not going to get hit by his fire breath. Come in here and get the attacks in, and you can run away. See, we're really far away from this little fire breath, so... Go ahead and just keep doing it. Speed it up even faster. Because it's pretty repetitive. Same thing over and over again. A lot of running away and then coming in here for some attacks. Don't be too greedy. Look how far away we are though from those fire breaths. Look at that, way far away. That will not kill you anymore. Say bye bye to dying from that. There we go, victory achieved. Hope this helps you guys. We got a soul of a giant. 
we're gonna get on to the next area there's a lot of secrets hidden walls and everything so if you haven't subscribed make sure you do it'll be the best choice of your life especially if you love dark souls 2 because i show you where all the hidden items are all the little secret locations so stay tuned hope you enjoyed the video remember to give it a thumbs up and remember stay epic